Hi there and welcome. Today we're going to take a look at Cloud Convert. I've been using Cloud Convert for years and using the free version. It's absolutely amazing. Notice what you can do here. If I go into Select File, as they say, you can convert anything from anything from your computer by URL from Google Drive, from Dropbox, or from OneDrive. Notice what I'm going to do. I'm going to go by URL. But before I do, let me show you what you can convert to from. You can convert from, uh, for example, audio, and then you can convert to all of these. Um, ebook, document, notice you can convert to all of these. Font, even. Uh, image, notice you can also convert to all of these including ICO, which is amazing. And then there's presentations. Notice uh, the different formats, spreadsheet, the different formats, vector, and video. I'm interested in video. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into select file, go to the URL, add, and notice it's a WEBM. Click on that. And then notice my options here. Okay, I can convert the video to MOV, which is movie, MP4, to the same format because what I'm doing here is I am converting it to a file. Right now, what I added was a URL and I might want the WEBM file so I can upload it elsewhere. Google Drive, for example, or MP4 if I want to upload it to YouTube or Vimeo for that matter. So notice uh, MP4 is what I'm going to go for. Now notice here as well, you can save the output files to Dropbox or to Google Drive. Going to simply convert it and then it'll go into my system. In the meantime, I can add more files. Yes, I can continue adding files and they'll be stacked up here. Uh, until one of them um, converts. Now the process may take a little time depending on the size of the uh, file that you're sharing. With MP4, it generally takes longer than others. Audio is much faster, for example, or images. But in any case, you don't have to wait around. So in this case, I'm just going to let it happen. Okay, now notice uh, this is what I will see. I can close it. I can download it from here. I can play it. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to close it and show you what it looks like when it's here. And now I can download it. I can review it, preview it, retry, or I can delete it. Now, what do I do with this? Well, once it's on my computer, I can upload it, as I said, on Vimeo, on YouTube, or I can simply add it to one of my online courses, whether it's on Moodle or any other platform such as Canvas or anywhere else. Let me know if you have any questions about Cloud Convert, an absolutely amazing tool that I've been using, as I said, for many, many years. 